Ladies and gentlemen, this is Valerie Ray. The shiny jar is back, you guys. Only this time we are gonna be playing a game of Love It or Leave It featuring ballet class fashion trends. Our team has gathered a bunch of ballet class fashion trends and put them in this jar. And we're gonna take turns drawing and reading them, possibly debating or unanimously agreeing if we would either wear them to class or if they're just a hard pass. Class or pass with ballet. Class or pass. This is now the new the new title. The of new the video. title of the video. Class or pass. If you are ready to hear all of our fresh hot opinions regarding all these ballet class fashion trends, make sure you hit the like button and we shall proceed. One fashion item that we will always love wearing is, of course, our Ana Luisa jewelry. Of course. Because what did they... you expect? <laughs> <laughs> but for real though, Ana Luisa is one of our favorite jewelry brands. We have been wearing and loving their jewelry for a very long time now. And even the first few pieces that we got from them are still in pristine condition. They don't dull, they don't tarnish. And that's something that really stands out about their brand. They really prioritize quality and sustainability for all of their pieces. The pieces I'm wearing today is the Lori necklace and the Soria's bracelet. I think these are actually really pretty as a set. I'm wearing the Tracy necklace and the Adele, Adele bracelet. You can find all of these pieces and more on the Ana Luisa website, which is super adorable by the way. And what's even better is that they offer free shipping across the entire United States and they have extremely affordable shipping options internationally as well. We'll link the Ana Luisa website below, but currently they have a summer sale going on and you can get up to 30% off your entire purchase. So if you're interested in elevating your personal style, make sure to click the link and check them out. Thank you so much Ana Luisa for partnering with us on today's video. The jewelry pieces you sent us are a hit as always. All right, let's get into the video and brief disclaimer. These are our subjective fashion opinions. Fashion is subjective, it's you guys. So, so subjective. More subjective than ballet, honestly. Honestly, <laughs> yes. This is a game, firstly, and this is just our subjective taste. So let's start the game. Do you want to go first or me? Who went first last time? I think I won first last time. And honestly, we're both gonna be debating on this anyway, so it doesn't really matter, right? We're gonna be debating more over who goes first than the actual content of Rock, the video. Paper, Actually? Yes. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> oh, okay, you go first. <laughs> Finally. Okay, number one, tights over leotard. Ooh. I think there is a context mm. for when it's acceptable to wear your tights over. Yeah. I think mostly in student life, like when you're going through your ballet education and training and stuff like that. I personally prefer when students wear their tights under. For sure. Um, like for a student, you, you'd want to have that like really classic look. Yeah, you don't want to be too artsy. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> with your style when you're a student, you kind of want to keep it clean. Yeah. Just keep a very tidy appearance when yeah. you're a student, you know, wearing your tights overhead, and it's, it's more of an informal way of dressing. I yeah, think. it's a very relaxed, casual, informal way of dressing. Exactly. So I definitely would not recommend it for students. However, once you're like a professional, honestly. In a company, yeah. Yeah, once you're a professional in a company, I feel like it's a lot more lax. And to be fair, it is more comfortable. For yeah, sure. You can adjust your tights better. Dancers, you'll understand. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you can adjust like the waistband, like so they don't like ride up or slide down or whatever. Exactly. And you're not like constantly like trying to get it. And like, it kind of sticks your leotard to you. You, exactly. So it doesn't ride up. There are practical benefits to wearing your tights over. I, I do agree. I think that it's more comfortable and yeah. like kind of more practical in a way. But if you're talking about like a formal way of dressing, like for an audition, parent observations or like performances, definitely for that professional look, you would put your tights under. Yeah. I student. would wear it to class, yeah. but like only because I'm not in the student realm. If I was in the student realm, I would say definitely pass. Oh yeah. But nice. given the context. Like for us personally. For us personally, it. definitely. Yeah. Definitely yeah. wear the class. I, I, I do it all the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> for comfort and practicality. All right. Next one. Oh, we're still on tights. Stirrup tights. Stirrup tights. Oh, um, stirrup tights. For me, for me, it's a pass, to be honest. I think for flat feet girlies, uh, you don't have that arch, it'll literally come off over your heels. So. Even for those of us that do have an arch, they yeah, just okay. don't stay. Okay, so I don't feel so bad. No, it's not just you. It's, <laughs> I haven't figured it out. Does it look beautiful though? Yeah. Do I yeah. wish I could wear them? Yeah. yeah. But is it a pass? It'll yeah, it's a pass. <laughs> <laughs> 
Trash bag pants. Oh my god. If you're not wearing trash bag pants to class every single day of your life, what are you even what doing? What are you even doing? For me, it doesn't matter if it's winter, if it's summer. Yeah. There are, are going to be trash bag pants. Oh my god, you need the trash bag pants. For, for non-dancers, the trash bag pants, they are the essential yes, for a dancer. Yes, an okay? essential. First of all, they have that sort of insulative material. It's like a plasticky material. It's, 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 it's like a trash bag. Like, literally like a trash bag. Yeah, it traps the heat in really well. Yeah. Secondly, they're really lightweight. Yeah. So like it doesn't feel like you have a ton of fabric on. Thirdly, they're really loose and baggy. Mm -hmm. So you have that full range of like motion in your hips and legs. Yeah. Because if you wear like leggings, yeah, they're stretchy, but they're also tight. tight. So no matter what, they are gonna feel restrictive. Like trash bags, they kind of just move with you yeah. and they don't really make you feel inhibited at all. I don't wear them throughout the whole class, oh, no. but mostly to class and then like the first portion of class. Yeah. And, and you can stretch and warm up in exactly. them really well. It just keeps your muscles warm and helps you warm up faster. So so yeah, trash bags are not, it's not a class or a pet, it's an essential. That, you that need there is, it. yeah, it's an essential. Alright, what's next? Ooh, leotards with mesh slash lace. Ooh. Ooh. I think it can be done well. I think so too. I think it just depends on the person yeah. and their personal style. Nowadays, people can sort of like, it's like how they express themselves through fashion. It's the yeah. same thing with dance clothes. I don't know. I think it depends on the person. I think lace is less common. Mesh is very, very popular yeah. though. I would say I'd wear it to class. Oh, I definitely. have a lot of leotards that have mesh and lace. Yeah, same. And I like them. Yeah. I think they're cool. The drawback of mesh and lace though is if your fingernails get in them, you can like snag them. Really yeah, cool. the lace snags really easily. Yeah. So like you have to definitely treat it with a lot of care. care. But for aesthetics, I'd wear it to Definitely. Class. Mesh and lace are both wear it to class. Mm -hmm. Tight tops. I think these are actually in right now. They are. I mean, I, th I don't think they ever really went out of stuff. It's more popular in the professional realm. Yeah. Again, because it's like a more relaxed. relaxed dress code. Yeah. If you're not aware of the tights tops, it, it oh. kind of started with like, you know, dancers wanting to make like a long sleeve mm -hmm. leotard. So what they would do is they would cut up an old pair of tights and wear it as a top. And it's actually kind of cute in a way. Yeah. It definitely adds that layered element to yeah. your ballet class fashion. Yeah. Especially helpful in like the wintertime. Yeah. If you don't have a ton of long sleeve leotards or something, you just wear like a cami yeah. leotard and you throw on a tights top and then it's a long sleeve. Yeah. And it's like tight fitting, it's stretchy, it keeps you warmish. Mm -hmm. So like it works out great. Okay. Nowadays they even make tights tops that are not out of tights. It's like those mesh tops that are like kind of oh, tight fitting. Yeah. Those are pretty in right now as well. Now, would we wear them to class? I personally do have some tights tops. I don't wear them a ton, yeah, to be same. honest. To get them on is cumbersome. Yeah. And you know, if you're trying to change leotards or even go to the bathroom, it's like, it's an extra layer you gotta take off as well. So yeah. I, I do wear it on occasion, mostly in the winter time though. But you don't wear them. I don't really wear You don't them. really. But I still have them, you know? Yeah, <laughs> they're deep in the drawer there. Yeah, I have them, it's just, I. I I don't wear them. I'll wear them to class, but it's like on the lower end. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, tan ballet shoes. Definitely oh, wear them to class. wear them to class. Yeah, 100%. definitely. But only if you're wearing bare feet. Yeah, I think tan ballet shoes, both the women and the men can wear tan ballet yeah. shoes. Especially, you know, if you want to be able to wear bare feet in your shoes. Mm -hmm. I which like a lot of dancers feet. do. Like you'll roll up your tights and then you'll just put tan shoes on. Mm -hmm. I like it because you get to wear bare feet in your shoes and also it continues the line. Yeah. Because sometimes if you wear, you know, your regular colored ballet shoes, if you have tan skin like me, it yeah. kind of cuts the line of your leg. Definitely. Especially if you have the elastics as mm -hmm. well. It really cuts your line. And so when you have tan ballet shoes that kind of match your skin tone, the line is elongated, it's continued to the very end of your foot. So I'm all in favor. But I think this is also more of a relaxed dress code kind of thing. That's true. So like, yeah. if you were a student, I probably wouldn't. Depends on the context, but in the correct context, then yes, absolutely. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Next up. Okay, rolling up one side higher than the other. Oh, <laughs> this is like a classic dancer thing. This is like kind of a, a meme in the dance world. It is, it's, yeah. it's something we make fun of because it's so, so true. So right off the bat, definitely wear it to class. 100%. Rolling up one side higher than the other, it might be your pants, it could be leg warmers, it could be your sweater or mm -hmm. whatever you're wearing. But instead of rolling up the same amount on both sides, you would just hike one up a little bit higher yeah. and leave one kind of looser. Like, I think it started from if you have one bad knee or like one yeah. injury on one side, you would 
just baby that one side. I think then it became known as like a dancer thing. A dancer thing. thing. <laughs> and it became, it has its own vibe. Definitely. You know, it has its own vibe of just a very relaxed, didn't try too hard. It's kind, kind of effortless cool. feel. I think, I think this is always a hit, whether you're in a professional context or student context. In general, I feel like this is kind of always a hit. Yeah, always wear to class. Yeah. All right. Ooh, wrap skirts. Uh, I feel like if it were the right wrap skirt, I would like it better. Yes, the thing with wrap skirts is that it really depends on how they're cut and how yeah. they're made. Wrap skirts that aren't made well will create too much floof. Yeah, you don't want you know too floofy. Saying? Like you don't want it to flare out yeah. when you wear them. You want it to just drape nicely. Nowadays, you definitely see pros who have wrap skirts, especially ones with patterns and things, which is yeah. always kind of fun. I have one wrap skirt that I do like. Yeah. It's very thin and very like fitted. Yeah. It, it doesn't flare at all. Yeah. That one's pretty good. I think it definitely, if it's cut right, then it can definitely look good. And they're um, and they're classy. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, they like, are. It's classy. very classy. Traditional. It is traditional. All right, so so. Class, but like tentatively. If it is made well and it drapes kind of nice, then yes, I'd wear it to class. Yeah. Cut off tights above the knee. Mm, pass for me. Oh, that's a pass for mm -hmm, me. I'm I sorry. I, will I roll up my tights below the knee? Yeah. Yeah. I but like what we're referring to is like when like, dancers cut their tights to like short length. Yeah, so like, like mid thigh. Mid thigh. This, it is a look. This one is definitely a very casual, mm -hmm. informal, kind of like trendy. Yeah. way of dressing. I'd say it gives a really athletic look. It is. Very sporty and it's yeah. really popular, especially in like professional companies. Yeah, for students stay for away students. at all costs. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. Don't do this if you're a student. Pass for us. Pass for us, although it is still like, it's still in style. Like it's still in style, but it's just not our thing. Next. Leg warmers. Oh. Oh, these are always in. Yeah, that's actually an essential. That's an essential for um, sure. I will say though, I prefer the flared leg warmers. Okay, yeah. Like the Rubia wear leg warmers. Yeah, yeah. Those ones are cute. For leg warmers, there's a lot of options. There's like short ones that you can wear like over an injury or yeah. just for ankles or knees. And there's like full length ones, which are yeah, you can wear like your pants, but just without the waist. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which is good if you're a dancer because you want full range of motion. So that way you can have the tight fitting leg warmers. You can still see your lines, Yeah. but then you don't have the restriction in, in, the, in hip. the hip. Yeah. So. The really trendy ones are the Rubia wear ones mm -hmm. and the wear mall ones. Like the yeah, color the block ones, those are always very yeah, trendy. Those no. are very trendy nowadays. There's so many different options out there in terms of like warmers that can really go with any outfit mm -hmm. and kind of elevate that particular style. So I wear it to class, 100%. Definitely. As like a style element and or as like a, like a health practical standpoint. Yes. Oh, wrap sweaters. Ooh. Uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't wear myself. I, okay, these are the only kind of sweater that's like acceptable for students. So yeah. for student wear, oh, definitely 100%, 100% yes. I don't yeah. see a whole lot of pros wearing these. And to be honest, I've like gotten rid of like pretty much all of my wraps. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't own any. I have one just like for teaching and stuff. I definitely don't wear it on the daily, like mm -mm. hardly at all. Personally for me, I just don't like the feeling of like when you're sweating a lot and it's a like against knit like oh yeah like sweaty skin against knit mm -hmm. it's just like that wool fiber just kind of i don't know i just don't like how yeah, that feels exactly yeah. i would much rather have like a little jacket that's kind of like a smoother yeah material or mm -hmm. like even a moisture wicking one like that, <laughs> that's that much be better. better yeah but style wise i think for students it is a fabulous fabulous option yeah. but for us it's probably it's a, a pass. pass it's a pass all right Bike tards slash unitards. Pass. Pass. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> I would not wear this. It is a thing though. It, it is definitely a thing. And I like it's been more in style. Like I know Yumiko mm. is like pretty well known for their unitards and bike tards and things like yeah. that. <laughs> I, I just wouldn't wear them. I feel no. like it would crease in weird places and just like, they're notorious for highlighting sort of your insecurities and stuff. Oh. They're not always the most flattering thing to wear. <laughs> like this one's a hard pass. I'm sorry, you guys. No shade to the unitard wearers. Yes, please. If you wear bike tards and love them, keep going. You keep doing what you love. Yeah, do what, what you love. Wear what makes you feel happy. You know? But so. for students, definitely no. Oh, yeah. And for us also. Yeah, we, we wouldn't do Definitely it. no. 
Bullet point skirts. Oh, I would wear to class. Definitely wear to class. 100%. I don't thousand okay. percent. I would not care if they were in style or out of style. I will be wearing bullet point skirts. That's exactly you know? how I feel. Yeah, they just hit right. They've been around for a while, but like comparatively to like wrap skirts and stuff, yeah, they're very very new. They also are known as the SAB skirt. Mm-hmm. They're like the new essential. Yeah. You know, like aside from your trash bags and leg warmers and stuff and your sweater, it's the bullet point skirt now. Yeah. And like now for summer intensive, I think now instead of like the wrap skirt, they're like the wrap skirts or the SAB skirts. Like mm. those are all acceptable. Yeah. It's like part of the new dress code. So this one's good for students or professional. I mean, students listen to your dress code. In general, like these are pretty accepted mm-hmm. in both student and professional territories. They're versatile. They have a lot of colors. Yeah. And I think the best part about them is just for- the fabric and the way they drape oh my god they don't flare out they don't crease in weird places they are just sleek and streamlined and beautiful i prefer bullet point skirts to wrap skirts because the elastic waistband definitely in a wrap skirt there's usually it's less elastic yeah so if you tie that thing too tight you're not gonna be able to move (laughs) yeah and some wrap skirts like they ride up too much. Yeah, they ride up too much. Yeah. If you want it to sit lower on your hip, you can't do that. Yeah. Bullet points are so versatile and yeah. they're just beautiful. And like the scoop hemline, mm-hmm. it's a little higher on the sides. Yeah. It's the perfect length. The and perfect, they're opaque. Yeah, opaque. They're opaque. Yeah, the opacity is, is wonderful. We need that. There are a lot of other brands that kind of take the bullet point design and kind of make their own yeah. version. But yeah, as far as I know, the bullet point brand is still the best by far. Oh yeah. Yeah. So Stick with bullet point. Yeah, it doesn't matter if they're in or out of style, we're going to be wearing bullet point <laughs> skirts. Yeah, I love those. Absolutely, wear to class. Okie dokie. Rompers. Okay. Definitely wear them to class. This would be as a warm up, like as a warm up piece. Yeah, definitely a warm up piece. Um, they have so many different kinds of rompers. They have the trash bag one, but also they have little knitted ones, which I think are so, so they're cute. Fun. It's cozy. It's very cozy. And the thing is when you wear rompers though, like tip for dancers out there. For style, usually you wear one strap and you let the other one just hang. <laughs> like that's what we yeah. do. Again with the asymmetry. Like if you, you roll up one pant leg higher mm-hmm. than the other one and then yeah. you only wear one strap. Only one <laughs> strap. Exactly. I'm joking, but kind of not. And sometimes what I do with mine is I like take this both straps off and you kind of roll it down so it's like pants. So you can like, depending on where you are in the class, like you start off like full, then you like take one sleeve off and then like around decade days, you roll it down yeah, so it's pants. And now it's pants, yeah. <laughs> These are perfect for warm up class. Like when you're at the mm-hmm. theater and you're warming mm-hmm. up. It's a fan favorite. Definitely. Okay, leotards with strappy backs. Mm-mm. Pass. Nah, pass. Pass for me. Pass. Okay, these were in vogue like a, a little while ago. And I yeah. think in some places around the world, I'm sure people still love them. Even when they were in, I was never a fan of them because I never liked the feeling of having that much going on in the back of my leotard. Mm-hmm. And also they would always get twisted. That's you guys, the problem. The struggle of having a strappy leotard. You was... always have your friends coming up behind you and be like fixing your straps. Yeah, because you'll cause... move, you'll do a combre, and then they get twisted and it's just like... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also yeah. for partnering, especially Especially if it's like a lower back leotard, he's gonna be playing cat's cradle with your leotard while you're trying to do your pirouettes. It's not gonna be okay. I mean, strappy backs, they they probably are okay for some people. And maybe if you just have like one strap on the back or like, you know, one cross, it's not that bad. But like an actual lattice pattern, I don't know. I feel like that one's kind of out now. So yeah, hard pass. Hard Hard, pass. Hard, hard pass. Uh, Colorful tights. Pass. Um, I wouldn't wear them. In general, pass, but I did see one picture and she had like a very, very pale purple. It was like it was like your pink tights, but it was like lilac, which I thought was kind of cute. But in general, I think it's a pass, especially if it's gonna, you're gonna go like really bright or like neon colors. Yeah. However, for our male dancers- Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The men by default are expected to have multiple different color tights. They have exactly. like gray tights, white tights, black tights. Mm-hmm. If you're bluebird, you'd have to be in blue tights. Yeah, if you you're know? in Colas, you're wearing yellow tights. Exactly. So the so, color tights is a thing. It is dancer. definitely a thing. And so we support color tights for our dancers. Definitely. I, I wouldn't do it myself. I wouldn't yeah. wear it. Hard pass. No. Pass. Ooh, cold shoulder leotards. Ooh. I, confession, I have one of these. Yeah, I got it for a piece and I got to keep it. And, and, and I, 
and I like it. I like it. It's an Elevé. So yeah. Like it. <laughs> if it's an Elevé, we love it automatically. The cold shoulder definitely gives a more modern, modern, contemporary vibe. I think it can also just like pinch in weird areas. You would definitely feel that shoulder line. Exactly. Like right here, you feel it. Like yeah. trying to move your arm. For me, it's a pass. I know some people love it. It's definitely trendy and it's definitely cool. Mm -hmm. But yeah, would I would I really invest in wearing a lot more cold shoulder leotards? Probably. Not. Yeah, probably not. It's a pass for us, although it's not out of style, yeah. it's just not our style. It's a cool look, we just, yeah, a, a pass. Let's see. Patterned Leos. Pass. Yeah, I like wearing solid. For me, it's a pass, just because we like that more mid minimal, sort of streamlined look. Mm -hmm. Kind of like our Anna Luisa jewelry, but you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think that pattern leotards are still definitely very much a thing. They're fun, and I feel like mm -hmm. dancers have been getting a lot more bold with their pattern <laughs> choices. Yeah, it's 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 a very bold look. I, and not to say that I would never wear it, I do have some pattern leotards. I don't pull it out all the time, but you know, once in a while, if it's like, you know, a sunny summer day, You're and you kind of feeling fun, like yeah. fun, then of course I don't feel bad wearing it. Mm -hmm. It's just not for me all the time, yeah. that's all. I think that if you do pattern, but like just ha part of the leotard and not oh, the whole thing, yeah. it's better. Like yeah. I prefer if it was just like, you know, the top part was patterned yeah, and yeah, the bottom yeah. was solid or something like that. But yeah, it's it's subjective. I think it's- It's a pass for it, me. It's a pass for us. Halter neck leotard. Oh, pass. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's a pass. I think it does look good on certain people though. I feel like their bodies is just made for halter leotards. I'm not like that. I feel like halter necks never fit right on me. Okay. And they always like, they, you know, cause they pull on your neck, right? It's uncomfortable. It's so uncomfortable to me. Mm -hmm. Some people look absolutely stunning in them and they work just fine mm -hmm. in a halter leotard. So I think they're, they are for some people, but for us, definitely a hard pass. Yeah, a pass. <laughs> a hard pass. <laughs> All right. Space boots, you guys. Another another one that's neither pass or a class. This one is an essential. You must have space boots. Space boots and the trash bag pants. It's like a like a combo. Yeah. You need to have you, both. Yeah, both. Both. Absolutely yes to the space boots or the block booties. They're also called. Oh booties. yeah, they're also called block booties. Yeah. It's that trash bag material. Yeah. So it's like that nice plasticky windbreaker jacket mm -hmm. material. Mm -hmm. So it traps the heat in. They're also soft and like plush. They're also meant to be worn pretty loose, so yeah. you can wear them with like just your feet, like slippers, or you can even put them on over your point shoes or your flat shoes or your flat shoes. And this is really important for like when you're at the theater, yeah, because sure. sometimes you're supposed to cover your feet when you're not on the stage. These um, are really great for that. Yeah, so you can kind of cover your shoes and protect them exactly. without taking your shoes off and still keeping your feet warm. So it's like a win and 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 a win. If you take away anything from this video, it's, it's you need to get yourself some space boots like or multiple pairs of space boots like these are the essential the must-have space boots absolutely we love space we need, boots we need the space boots. yes last one you guys giant inflatable animal costumes <laughs> <laughs> Um, this one is um, clearly always clearly. a hit. It's almost like we don't have to talk about it. Yeah. Like just, just it speaks for itself. Just behold the glory yeah. of the giant inflatable animal costume. These ones you should always wear to class at any given opportunity. <laughs> this has been a PSA with Ballet Ring. <laughs> There you have it, everybody. That was the class or pass game featuring ballet class fashion trends. We hope you enjoyed the video. Again, um, this is just our subjective taste. Please. Take all of this with a grain of salt, except the part about the space boots. Please let us know what other ballet fashion trends you want our opinions on in the yes. comments. We would love to read through them and maybe compile them in a part two. Make sure to like and share this video if you wanna help our channel to reach more people or if you wanna help us push our ballet nerd world domination agenda. Uh -huh. <laughs> just just like, if you like the video, just, like the video. Yeah, just like and share, just like and share. <laughs> and once again, thank you so much to Anna Luisa for partnering with us on the video. Please check out the link in the description box to shop the sale and get your own beautiful sparkly jewelry pieces for yourself and all of those you love. Anyway, I think that is all from us for now. This is Ballet Rain signing off. Until the next video. Bye. The shiny jar. Oh, that, that was, was really centered. You should be, you know.
What is it? <laughs> Cur- curling. <laughs> well, anyhow, anyway. let's do the intro. <laughs> Focusing. We're gonna focus. We're today. gonna focus today. The shiny. Oh my god! <laughs> that was even better, you guys. <laughs> my curling career begins now, you guys. Rock paper scissors. Dude, oh. you have to go one, two, three. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was one, rock, two, three. Okay, yeah. go. Okay. Or rock paper scissors shoot. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, you can't see me. I'm behind the mic. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to do it. Are you ready? Rock, paper, scissors. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. (laughs) Have you never played this? (laughs) One, two, three, go. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Happy birthday, Jordan. I was like, just going to do the outro. Happy birthday!